Okay, so hello humans and extraterrestrials. This is the third time I'm filming this because I've not been happy with either of the other videos, but today I'm going to be telling you about my Reading Rush TBR. One of these books I'm not, I feel really horrible for picking it as in context of the prompt because, which I only really picked because I couldn't find any others that fitted the prompt, which is really unfortunate, but yeah, there were four prompts. Um, this spans from the 16th to the 19th of August. Uh, August? 16th to the 19th of April, which I didn't say in any of the other videos either. Um, so this, hopefully when this is uploaded, if I've done it correctly, will be the day before the reading rush starts. Um, so yeah, here we are. So the first prompt was a book that has a house on the cover. Now, for this... This is the one I'm concerned about because I couldn't find anything. Um, so we have this, uh, which is The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Aturb. Now this book, I'm well aware that is anything but a house. It is so far from being a home. It is a horrible place and never, and no one should ever have been, you know, made to be there. But they did technically live there. So it's the only one I could find that even had a smidgen of, fit in the prompt minus the really like super um pretentious stuff of like well like i don't know like the ones that are like oh she is her own home and all of that like you know um this is the closest to a thing where the, on the picture is a place in which they lived um so this is what we're gonna go with this is a book about Dieter kraus who um was a secret librarian of auschwitz um from the age of 14 I believe yeah um I don't know anything about her actual story this is kind of like a it's based on her true story so it's kind of like a fictionalized version um but I think as far as I know it very much sticks to the facts it just makes it more story like in that you know it's easier to read basically um obviously it's not easy to read because it's about you know I'll show it but it's more like the phrasing's not she said like it's you know it's made into like a readable thing um but yeah that's what I've picked for the first one um I got this in I think February or March um I talk about it in my whatever reading wrap up it is I think it was February um but yeah we have this so yeah, the second one is not based on the book at all. It's just a book that you will read in one sitting in one place. Um, so for this, I have picked Five Feet Apart by lots of people. Rachel, let me read this. Rachel Lippincott with Miki Daltry, Daltry, Daltry and Tobias Yakunis, I think don't know this is a sort of john green-esque story like a fault in our stars style thing um where there's these two people stella and will and stella ha they're both ill um and they've both been in yeah one of them will has been constantly in hospital stella's been very in and out of hospital she has like a lung condition i believe um yeah her totally out of control lungs as it's so aptly put on the blurb um, she, as a result of her lung condition, she, well basically she meets, as far as I know, she meets Will and they sort of meet each other and are like, oh, you know, like each other or whatever, um, but because of her lung condition, they have to stay at least six feet apart, um, but I think it becomes a thing where they're like, well, five feet wouldn't hurt, right? I think, I could be completely wrong, this came out two years ago, the film came out last year, I know very little about it, um, but yeah that um it's i picked this mostly because it's kind of it's relatively short um it's only 276 pages and the it's relatively decent sized print so it won't take me forever to get through it which is good so i can just sit and just read it and then you know be done because i you know it's not a good idea to pick like a 600 for me to pick like a 600 page small print book for this because you know my legs are gonna die in all sorts um so yeah that's this um the next one is about a place that you would like to go um and i am taking this to mean right now as opposed to 
just in life and also taking it to mean an actual plate like an actual place you could go to as opposed to like a magical world because I was tempted to be like to pick like some fantastical thing because I have so many fantasy series that I need to start but none of them that I looked at I was actually like I was either they were too the books were too long because I was going to pick the first Heroes of Olympus book but I was like no that's like 600 pages and all the other ones were things like Philip Pullman which is like I don't want to don't know if I want to be part of the his internal uh the his What's it called? His Dark Materials. I don't know if I actually want to be part of that universe. So, yeah, that. Um, so I picked this, which is When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher, which is a book about the theatre. It's like a theatre ghost showmance, which, if that ain't up my alley, I don't know what is. Um, I've read a few books by her before. I liked... I thought... Um, What's it called? All that she can see. I thought all that she could see was okay. I honestly remember nothing about all I I like all I know now. I honestly remember nothing about her debut novel. I couldn't even tell you what it's called because I read it like four years ago. But I remember that I liked it. So yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, and the last one was a book that the prompt was basically like a book that's gonna make you smile or that you will like or something like that. I can't remember the exact phrasing. Um. But for that I picked a uh, book in the middle of a trilogy, which is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, which is the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. Um, this is part of the Shadowhunters Chronicles, this is the second series in the Shadowhunters Chronicles that she released, if I remember correctly. Um, this follows Tessa Gray, who is an American sort of war, we think, warlock. Um, maybe we don't know kind of um who moves from america to london because of her brother and then meets jem carstairs and will herondale which are both shadow hunters on the way and you know shenanigans ensue and this book follows the first one i can't really say anything without spoiling the first book but i'm very excited about it and the reason i actually picked it for this was because i love this universe so much and these i love her right i love Cassie Clare's writing and I also just I truly I get sunk into the series and I really enjoy the universe and the characters um for example to show you how much I love the characters I would show you a video but I didn't film it when Magnus ba I think I put it on my Instagram but when Magnus Bane first appeared in the first book which is a recurring character in the entire series um I had something I literally sat there for a few minutes and was just like I need to just be prepared for this because I'm gonna be emotional and cry like I I felt a lot okay so this very excited about this um so yeah that is the four they're all upside down <laughs> that is my books for my thumbnail we love that my books for my reading rush, um, my stay home reading rush. Um, if I've uploaded this at the right time, I'll be uploading it the day before the reading rush starts. But if I haven't, then don't call me out on it. I'm going to upload it at least before it ends, hopefully. Um, and I'm not going to film a separate reading rush wrap up. I'll film, I'll film a vlog for the wrap up, uh, for the reading rush, if I get it to edit properly. Um, and I will just have a section of my April wrap up that is dedicated to these books. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Please remember to drink your water, eat your vegetables and peace out, I guess.